put down the damn cell phone when you're walking. One of the most important imperatives we have in special operations, I don't care if you're a Navy SEAL, I don't care if you're an Army Ranger or a Green Beret, is to know your operational environment. That's what we say. To always be aware of your surroundings. And it never ceases to amaze me how many people have their heads down in their mobile device when they're in the airport, when they're in a hotel lobby, and they're not paying attention to what's going on around them. This is what bad guys look for. This is what criminals look for. This is what terrorists look for. They look for people that are dialed out socially. Another thing is just to have a plan. Always have a plan. If you're going to go into an area that is, you know, extremely crowded, if, you, if you're going to go into an area where there's a lot of people, know how you're going to get, get out. I always tell folks, locate the exits. Always know where the exits are in a place. If I go into an establishment with only one exit, I'm not even going in that establishment. Another thing is to always have your eyes on the exit, not just knowing where it is, but position yourself where you can see how people come and go in a place. It's very easy to do, almost no one does it. I'm amazed at the number of people that just put their backs to the door or they put their backs to the corridors that lead you in and out of a place. The final thing is always let someone know where you're going. I mean, this is just common sense stuff, but if you're gonna go out to the woods, if you're gonna go hiking, if you're gonna go even to a new part of the city, let somebody know where you're going. We do that in the military. If we're going to go do an operation, even something as simple as a resupply run, we're going to let people know where we're going, what time we're going to be back, and what to do if we don't return. It's just good common sense, and that's what keeps you alive when things get rough.